Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I thought I would tell you about our family trip to Universal. I thought I would tell you, go through what I wore, what I ate, what we did, and what I fought because there was one heck of a mall there. It was the Millennium Mall. And then we went to the, I think it was called the Florida Mall. Also, because I always like to go to Azara when I go out of town. So let me start with, we flew a new airline, a Velo, and it's kind of like a, I don't know if it's like a budget airline, but let's just say there wasn't any drink or anything like that. There wasn't a first class. We did sit you know, up in the front and we loved the flight attendants. Great flight. And it was one way. So from Wilmington to Orlando, it was just an hour and that was fabulous. So my airport outfit, let's start with that because um, I always like to wear something comfortable yet stylish. I think it's important. I don't know. Going out of town is just like a special occasion to me. So I wore my H&M blazer. I wore my AYR Sexy Flexi tank, some new trousers that I just got from Zara, and my Gucci sneakers. Just the best sneakers ever. And I get my true to size. If you wear thick socks, then size up half. And you can see all of our luggage. What we did is Rook had the small suitcase. And then John, Will, and I had the large suitcases. So when we were on the way there, they were pretty empty. But I knew what we would buy things to bring back. I mean, like the all-you-can-drink cups. We bought those at the hotel and at, at I always want to say Disney, but at Universal. So I knew we would have lots of stuff to bring back. The flight went great. Will did not bother him at all. He took his... I don't know what you even call all the things. He's kind of a computer geek like his daddy. And he has that, is it a Nintendo Switch? And then everything else. Matter of fact, I got him the Luca Duffel that I always carry. I got that for him in black. And then he got another case to put like his cords and chargers and stuff in. Okay, so we got there. It was my first flight I've ever taken out of here, like in the middle of the day, which was weird, but it was good because I got to get a lot of stuff done before I left. I had all the laundry done. The cleaning girls came the next day, so I had everything ready for them, and they actually fed the cats for me that first day, and I just paid them some extra. And then my mom came, my mom and dad came Wednesday and Thursday, and then we were home on Friday. So... We got there and got on the shuttle, and that took a long time to get there because we didn't realize that the shuttle stops at every single hotel. So we finally get to our hotel. It takes a while to check in. We stayed at the Endless Summer Resorts, and we stayed at the Dockside. Now, John always makes all of our plans. He does the hotels. He does everything. So I did not know you know, what this was going to be like. I knew we had two separate rooms and we ended up actually having two separate suites right beside each other. They didn't join, but they were right beside each other. So we each had our own room and an extra bed in each room. So that was great. It was a new hotel, extremely clean. Everyone was extremely nice, but it was very, very, I don't know if you'll know what I'm saying. Like it was very, very kid friendly. It was um, surf themed, very kind of gimmicky as far as like the beachy stuff, which I get that that's like a thing to do. But if you're from the beach, you know, you're just like, oh, another surfboard, you know, but it was very nice. I slept like a baby. I loved their pillows, which doesn't happen very often. The one negative that we can say is we thought they had a restaurant, but they didn't. It When we looked over, it looked like a restaurant. We saw chairs and we saw people in there. It was actually just like a market and a little, almost like a little food court that you would have at the mall, which would have been fine. But the first day we tried to eat breakfast there and it was not good. The eggs had like no flavor. You could tell they were probably powdered eggs or out of a jug or something. They weren't good. And it just, we didn't eat there again. We would go there and get... Our drinks, you know, a Diet Coke or this or that. Um, Brooke got a bagel one time, but 
that is one of the things that we were really missing because we're not really foodies, but we don't like to waste a lot of time at restaurants. We'd rather be doing something else, but we do like a good breakfast at the hotel and we like having that option. Okay, so the first place we went is we went to that night. We didn't really have time to really go anywhere. So we thought, okay, I wanted to go. There was two places I wanted to go while we were there. I wanted to go to Chanel because I don't, you know, I just like to go to Chanel wherever I go to see what they have available. It's just one of those things. And I wanted to go to Zara, where of course they were at two different malls. Luckily, my family doesn't mind going to malls. Will and John love going in the Apple Store, in GameStop, in all of those places. They all like going in those candy stores and stuff like that. So I knew as, as long as I was quick, it would be fine. And so we went to the Millennium Mall that night. And the first place I went was Gucci because I noticed when I was thinking about what bag to carry, I couldn't decide like what was a, I didn't know how to dress. I've never been to like Disney or Universal or anything. And I didn't really, it's cold here. It was warm there. I didn't really know what to expect. And I realized I was kind of missing just a knock around crossbody, more casual bag. So I decided I wanted to go in Gucci and get a, like a camera bag, something kind of simple, crossbody, not too big so that they would make me lock it in a locker, I heard, not too small, you know, just all of that stuff. So we got there and I went upstairs and went in Chanel or went to go in Chanel and they closed at seven and it was already past seven. It was the mall closed at nine, but it was already past seven because by the time we got there, we rode the shuttle forever. We checked in, we unpacked, all of that stuff. So that night I did go in Gucci looking for a camera bag and I just didn't like any of the ones that I saw. They seemed too big and I just, they didn't thrill me. So I ended up walking to the back and spotting this little baby here, which is very similar, I guess you could say, to a camera bag. It's the same practical shape, but I love that it has the top handle and it has the crossbody. And then the real seller is how it opens. I've still got my stuff in here. So it doesn't open where well, you have to have it like this. See how it's got that piece in there? It just opens wide like that. That was my first purchase. Then I had the managers helping me and she said, oh yeah, she saw that I had on my Gucci sneakers. She said, did you see the sneakers that go with it? And I said, no. And so she brought up the sneakers that go with the bag. And I'm telling you, this is a winning, winning combination. These are so comfortable. I, the bag just, when I tried it on, it just hit me just right. And I'm kind of funny about crossbody bags because if they're too bulky or they just don't lay on my body right, or I don't feel like they complement my look, I don't, I don't get them. So when she showed me these, I tried them on in the regular eight and in the eight and a half and the eight still fit the best because I don't wear socks. And even if I did wear socks, it would be the thinnest no-show pair of socks you can get. So these, you guys, are like a work of art. They are just beautiful. I feel like they are a little prettier, classier, nicer version of the Golden Goose, which I already still love the Golden Goose, but I love them, like with the crystals and the silver, and you guys know I love metallics. And I have a little mini does anybody remember my little mini metallic silver Balenciaga bag? I miss using that bag. I loved that bag, especially in the summer. I love metallics with like a green dress or a red dress or something like that. And with that whole controversy and everything, of course, I didn't sell my bags. I didn't burn them or anything like that, but I haven't felt comfortable using them. So let me know down below how you feel about that because I, I can see both sides to that, definitely. Then she shows me another bag that is the Gucci print with crystals with the matching sneakers that go with it. And so I was trying to decide between the two. I ended up going with the silver. Then when we get back to the hotel, John said, I don't know why you didn't get the other bag and the other sneakers. You should have gotten them both. 
what? So they may be in my future because I'm telling you, that is a good looking bag. I think it comes in another style too, but we'll get on with the story in a little bit. And the sneakers that I had on had pink on them too, but these are so good looking. And I always feel like I want to be able to show you guys things at all price points that I think are worth the money. And when I show you things like this shirt that's from Walmart, I wanna show you things that are inexpensive that look like they're worth more than the money. So I do think that you would be satisfied with those sneakers and that bag. Okay, so the next day, you know I wanted to wear my new sneakers and my bag, but I still wasn't quite sure. Is anybody at the park gonna have a designer bag? You know, it's like I never really strive to blend in, but I don't want to look, I don't wanna be ridiculous. And I didn't know like how much my bag was gonna get wet. I wanted to keep my options open. So the first day I wore, you guys, best pants ever are these black and white Spanx pants. They are probably the most comfortable pants you will ever buy. I do love the Ripley Raider pants, but these, oh my goodness, you have to have them. So I wore the Spanx pants. I wore an older Zara bodysuit and the sneakers I wore the first day were my Adidas Nizza, which is another favorite pair of sneakers of mine. I think that I look better in a little bit of a chunkier, higher sneaker. Like these really aren't platforms, but you can tell how they, how they have just like a chunkier look than the Samba and the Gazelle. I'm thinking I look better in a sneaker like this or even a platform or a running shoe. I don't know. I just feel like with the flat ones, you're just so flat. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. So the Nizzas, they're fabulous, fabulous sneakers. I recommend everyone having those. If you are new to wearing sneakers with trousers, that is an excellent pair for you to get because they're inexpensive and they're pretty and they're not clunky. They're just good to have. And then I have a little black zip up hoodie. I think I wore it in my hair video which, oh my gosh, speaking of hair, if you're wondering why I look like Charo, it is because I did the air wrap last night, pinned each piece, had it pinned almost all night. Then I, this is the mistake I made. I put it up in one of those coily bands because they really don't pull my hair. When I took it down this morning, it was like double the curl, double. So it was out of control. So I just decided to put some of it up. That's so you're looking at the air wrap today. Okay, so yeah, the jacket I have on is from Walmart. It's just a little time and true black zippy. And I think those look good sometimes with just something like a bodysuit or exercise bra or something underneath. And I knew it would be easy to take off and tie around my waist. So you just should have seen me like worrying about what everybody's wearing, you know, the mom in you doesn't want them to be cold, but they don't want, you don't want them to be too hot. You don't want them to have, have something to carry around. So we did good the first day. It was such a good time, you guys. It was such a good time. We cannot wait to go back there. We can't wait to go somewhere again. So we went to Universal. Our hotel had a shuttle that left every 15 minutes. And I will have to say that was just so good. It seemed like every time we went, we went really early the first day, and then the second day we were like, mm, we don't need to go that early. We would get on the shuttle, and it would be like ready to go, and we would go to Universal, and then we would get out of Universal, go get on the shuttle, go straight back. I mean, it was, the the hotel, I give it, I mean, I give it 10, 10 stars, even though it didn't have the best aesthetic, aesthetic and the best restaurant, for what it was for a family it was very good. It was extremely clean. And that is a big deal. And I slept really well. So that is a big deal. So, okay. So we get there and I'm thinking, okay, I'm wearing the right thing. I'm comfortable. You know, I felt good. It did get hot. We loved it. Oh my gosh. Just feeling that sun on our skin. It felt so good. So the first day, I don't think, I can't remember if I rode a ride the first day. One day we rode King Kong. I don't know if that was the first or a second day, but the kids, we got the fast passes for every day and the kids rode everything they wanted to. I can't even remember all of the different things. 
and we did have the cups and oh my gosh look at this couple that i took their picture they were dressed to the t prada loafers the best chanel backpack i've ever seen and we went to dr zeus landing you know just walked all around had the best time i did not take my nike dunks which are right under right up there with my gucci sneakers because i bought some for brooke and she took hers so if you're wondering that and then um i'm gonna make a confession here i've never watched harry potter I know that people love it, but I, that's just not my thing. But John and Will, Brooks watched it, and John and Will watched it as soon as we made the plans to go to Universal. So all they all knew everything that was going on, and to me, it didn't matter. It took me a while to get, why were people having those black graduation gowns on? But I remember John and I waiting outside of when they did that. Uh, Jurassic Park, oh, one thing I was so enamored and taken with is the greenery there were all of my favorite plants like the monstera the limelight the um the fiddly fig is that what i'm trying to say like all of these i just kept taking pictures of the greenery and sending it to my mom gorgeous just gorgeous it rem bamboo it reminded me when john and i went to hawaii we went to maui first then we went to oahu and when we were on maui we did a lot of hikes and stuff like that and it reminded me of that just gorgeous i loved it and i took lots of pictures of the kids and let's see oh i got a caricature hold on okay we passed this one time and i, I told brooke i said you have to be confident to get one of those done because what they do is take every feature you have and magnify it. And so I said, to be, I said, if I do it, it's going to have a really long nose and you'll see. So I had to do it just to see. So I got the black and white. I love it. I love it. So that was the first day that we went. And I cannot believe I got this home without a dent. And are you like this? This were this was some nice napkins we had somewhere that I saved in case we needed them. And so, oh gosh. And then we went to, the kids had both, I call them kids. They're 20 and almost 24. Brooke's birthday is St. Patrick's Day. But they're, they'll be my babies and my kids and my children forever. But they had been talking about the Chocolate Emporium. So we went there to eat, and that's what we usually do is just eat one big meal a day. We're not really big breakfast, lunch, and dinner type people. So we went there, and we had to wait a good 30 minutes to get a table, which was fine. And I got, I took a picture of it, and it doesn't look very appetizing, but it was so good. I got the bacon burger with pulled pork on top. And I'm thinking pork must be a Florida thing because it seems like everywhere we went, there was some kind of pulled pork dish, which is great with me. So if you don't know, if you're stumbling upon this crazy video, I am carnivore. Uh, May will be four years. And so I like to be able to show you that you can go anywhere and you can do anything and stay on the carnivore diet. Now, you might eat a little bit junkier than you thought you would. Matter of fact, the first night when we went to the mall, um, I got, Will and I got a pizza and I just ate the top of it. So that's something I wouldn't typically do in my everyday life. But when I am, you know, trying to be accommodating, that's what I do. Okay, Will had this crazy milkshake with the confetti cake. Brooke didn't want anything because she had already had her dinner, like her lunch filled her up. And she's not really a big sweets person. And Will got to keep that little container. And it was cute watching him eat that. John is an angel. And he felt bad that I had missed the Chanel. So we went back to that mall. It was only 10 minutes in the Uber. And I think Will wanted something from one of those places. I can't remember, a book or something. And so we went back there and I went in the Chanel store and looked at everything they had. And I just, I like, I mean, of course you're going to go in a Chanel store and you're going to see things you like, but I've been trying to break away a little bit. Now I'm not saying I won't get any more, but I've been trying to break away a little bit from black bags because in the summer I do like a pop of color and I want like a pretty exciting, fun bag collection. 
And so I looked at the nude flap bag with silver and John was sitting outside waiting for me. So I went to the door. I showed him this one. He said mm, he didn't he didn't really care for it. Then they had this blue square rectangle mini. And I've been wanting one of these. I've heard that this is like the perfect size. And then when I put that on and took it to the door, he was like he liked it. But I haven't even shown you guys another bag that I got that is a little bit of blue and lavender kind of all mixed together. And I knew that I had just gotten that. So I didn't get anything. Then I thought, okay, I want a really practical little crossbody bag that's maybe black or, you know, you know, I'm still, I'm still on that line of crossbody practical. You know, I love my silver one, but I'm just thinking. So I come out of Dior. They didn't have anything but dressy stuff. And I met one of my subscribers. Her name is Yosinia. And as soon as I was coming out, she said, are you Lisa? And I said, yes. And she said that her and her mom watch my videos. And I can't tell you how heartwarming that is to me because one, I love that I appeal to a wide age range. And two, what a what a flattering thing to be something that brings a mom and daughter together. I know that things that bring Brooke and I together that we both mutually like, they're special to me. So Yosinia, I loved meeting you. And so she works at Prada. And I said, oh gosh, I wonder if Prada has any good practical, you know, just like a good bag to wear to like when I'm here with my family at Universal. And she said, I think you need to go look at the nylon reissue. So I did. And I have not opened the bag since I was there because I ended up using the Gucci or nothing. I think what we ended up doing is when I knew I was going to ride rides that get a little wet, I let John have my ID and we had our passes on his phone. So I'm going to unbox this with you here. And I have wanted this bag for a while. This reminds me of, first of all, it's a 90s reissue. So it's an older style that they've redone. And it reminds me of one of my very first designer bags, which was the Kate Spade nylon bag. I still have that bag. And here it is. Now you can get it in the silver, but I love the gold and I'm getting ready to show you why. So it has that little thing up top that you can put, it snaps and does this. You can put like earbuds or pods or I don't use those very often or whatever you want, hotel key, something like that up here. And I'm going to switch it because I do cross body that way. So I'm going to have to switch it so it's on the right thing. But what really got me and made me want it is it's I think it's a pretty decent price for such a good everyday Prada bag. I think anytime you can get under two is pretty good these days. I mean, bag prices have gone up, bag and shoe prices. So here is the strap. And then if you're out of town and you're going out at night, just look at how pretty that little bag is. You know, imagine you have on a little black dress and then you put that with it. So I think this is like the ultimate mom chic mom bag, unless you go with a backpack, which I will explain and show you about that situation later. But it has this little thing on here that, does it say anything? I don't know. I don't know if it says, oh yeah. Okay. It says Prada re-edition 2005. Okay, I'm probably wrong about everything I just said about the 90s or something, but, but I swear it was the 90s when I got the Kate Spade bag. But anyway, so this is one of the first bags that I got, and I'm glad to unbox it with you because I want to start wearing these things. Well, when I walked in the back, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I have been looking for a gold bag for, I think, two years I wanted a gold bag the first time I went to Dallas with the style conference. That is the first time I went in Neiman Marcus. I was looking for a little gold bag because I wanted gold to match my, I know with my Gucci belt, I wanted to match that last year. And I think the year before I was wanting to match my Loeffler Randall sandals, which I love so much, the little gold bow ones. And I saw this and I've seen this online, but a lot of times I just won't order things when I see them online because I just don't know. But feast your eyes on this beautiful baby. 
Is that not gorgeous? You know what it reminds me of? My beloved coach spotlight bag that was gold. I had a gold one and a pink one, and I loved every minute of them. This is, I think it's, I don't know what this is exactly called, but they also have it like in rose gold and black. I'm a little disappointed with my coach bag that I just got in the pink because the pink is so purpley that it doesn't go, like when I wanna use it with something pink, it seems to not be going quite as much. So I don't know, I still like it, but I haven't been, every time I go to wear it or take it somewhere, I don't end up using it. And then I'm assuming this is, yeah, my receipt. Okay, so the next day, we went to, this was our favorite day, we went to Volcano Bay. So luckily we knew we were gonna either, you know, hang out by the pool or we were gonna go to this water park. So I really didn't know what to take, but luckily I had taken my black bikini that I wore last year, the Hunza G. I had taken my flip-flops from Walmart that are so good, you have to get those. You have to get the black and the nude. And then I wore my just a white t-shirt. I think it's the AYR scoop and the same Walmart jacket. And I had my Isabel Morant tote so that I could take all of our cups. You know, every day we had those same cups that you could refill for free. And I had the two pair of sunglasses I took are both Vela sunglasses. So that is what we wore. And look at, even in the foliage, look at the tractor seat plant. I mean, just all of my favorite plants. So we get to Volcano Bay and we didn't want to sit in like a private cabana because then you're not in the sun. And we love the sun in this family. So we got the, I think it was called Premier Seating, where you're kind of in a little cabana looking thing, but it seats two people. So we had two side by side, and then you can order your lunch there and order drinks and all of that good stuff. So that's what we did. We got settled. We ordered lunch. Okay, I had a burger, bacon cheeseburger, and I had also ordered the pork. I don't know what kind of pork pizza it was supposed to be, but honestly, it was just pieces of fat on a pizza, and she took it back, and I ended up getting um, pulled pork and ribs instead, and we just all that's how we do, you know, we kind of just share, like I never eat all of mine, but somebody else will, usually John. That Brooke actually liked the pulled pork too. And I wore, I had on my time and true flip flops, loved all of the plants, all of that stuff. We stayed all day. We had to buy sunscreen. We did not, we thought they would provide the towels, but we had to rent towels. But the little cabana things we had, had cool towels that kind of cupped over the back of the seat. I made a mental note on that and loved. They went down. I stayed with our stuff and they went on every ride, every lazy river, the rapids, all of that stuff. And I did, I could like see the water park or the water, the main section where I was. So what I did is just went and stood in the edge and I do a lot of people watching. I love that. And I was just telling a friend this morning, I love being at a place. It's kind of, I always loved this at church and any place where there's a lot of families. I love being at a place where you look around and you see people that love each other. And you see the mom and dad with a whole bunch of little kids and they're keeping them all together. And you just are around that fun. We're all here for the same reason. We all love our children. We all love each other. That whole vibe. I love that. And I there was a lot of that. And I really, that's one of the things I really enjoyed. And it took us back to like being that young family again, which I, it's, you feel like you've lost that. You feel like those days are over, but there was something about it. It's like that magic came back and, you know, we all have our own issues, of course. And it like brought out all the things that have always happened, you know, One's bossy, one's this, one's, you know, grouchy, whatever. I told John, I gave him just two thumbs up, a solid 10. He did not lose it one time because he has been known to lose his patience and get grumpy. He didn't. I mean, it was just so good the whole time. We loved it. We loved the park. We took the shuttle back. And then that night, Brooke, went, we still had not been to Zara. And they had, at that mall, they had a um, California pizza. 
and we love that restaurant. We don't have one here, but we go to it a lot when we go out of town. We always have, and they have a lot of different things. Like they have good salads, they have good pizza, they have pasta. So we went there. First, we went to Zara, and you'll see I just threw on some old Zara cargo pants. The bag I had taken originally was my Fendi baguette because I felt like it would go with everything and it, it could be dressy and it could be casual. I threw on that blazer again. I, my hair would not be let down. Like it had been in a ponytail all day getting kind of wet so I couldn't take it down. So I just used my ponytail and I got a few things from Zara. So let me show you. Okay, so I don't know if you're like this, but when I am at a, out of town, I always think I'm kind of in that mindset of like, what can I wear tomorrow maybe or something, you know, like thinking, you know, getting things to wear with sneakers and something fun that Brooke and I like to do is when we shop, we like to have a, a person like a muse or a style icon in mind. And I remember long ago, we would go shopping and I would either be doing like Carrie Sex in the City or maybe it would even be, I can't remember right now, someone else that it might even have been an influence or something. And I remember hers was Lana Del Rey. That was a good, a good little time because she wore all these little dresses and stuff. But I said, okay, Brooke, we were in Zara. And I said, who is your style icon that you're um, getting stuff? And she said that girl that's famous for her bangs. What is her, is her name Maja Way or something? She likes her style. So Brooke got a bunch of stuff. She got a few things to bring back for her boyfriend. And I got this little tank dress because I thought, how cute will this look with the silver sneakers? And that cracks me up because I think my mom went to an exercise class called silver sneakers. <laughs> So this would go with the silver sneakers and the silver bag. I did not end up wearing it the next day, but I will. They had a bunch of these. And then I got this shirt. I love to watch or to follow Lorna Lux. I love her style. I love her Instagram. And she had a photo with a blue shirt. So I grabbed this. Love it. Brooke came over and steamed for me yesterday. So she steamed it. And then... I bought a pair of white cropped kind of tapered pants that you will see me wearing. And okay, then we went to Mango. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you the funniest story real quick. We were, you know, at the malls. We were walking around and you know those, I'm going to say this and I, I hope I don't offend anybody, but those girls at those booths that are trying to sell you skincare and hair tools, they have gotten so aggressive that when Brooke and I would walk by, I mean, just come right up to you in your personal space and like stop you and excuse me, excuse me. So, I mean, by the end of this time, I was just getting so fed up. So we passed this booth and the girl said, excuse me, I love your hair. And then she says, where are you from? Well, John and Will were behind me and he heard her say, where are you from? He wasn't familiar with what she was doing. He thought it was one of my subscribers. So he stops and he says, you know, oh, we're from Wilmington or whatever. Before he knew it, that girl had slapped some eye cream. <laughs> we looked, Brooke and I looked back and Brooke videoed it. And you'll see Will looking at him and he said, Will looked at him and said, I cannot believe you let her do that. I, and I was concerned because I've heard that that eye cream that they sell a lot of people has actually has like Elmer glue in it. So immediately it does look like it helped under your eyes. People buy it and then they realize it's gross, toxic, and you can't return it. So I was like, oh my God, I'm looking back. I'm like, uh-uh, he cannot buy that eye cream. So he didn't. He came on. He said, I thought that was one of your subscribers. And I thought that was so sweet, but it wasn't. So the last day I wore the white pants I'm getting ready to tell you about. I wore a white top that I got from Zara. It was just one of those polymide. It looks like a bodysuit, but it's not tops. Then I wore this blue shirt over it with my silver Gucci bag and the silver sneakers. Loved it. One of my best outfits, was comfortable all day. We rode all the rides. We rode Spider-Man, we rode Harry Potter. We did the Harry Potter train from one park to the next. We did all of that stuff. And those sneakers made it through the whole time. I, I did not, my feet did not hurt, but 
I've already got the pants in my giveaway pile because they did not wash well. The zipper wasn't good in them. And from the minute I put them on, I thought they just, the quality wasn't very good. So I don't really recommend them. They were one hit wonders. They did fine for that day. But when I pulled them out of the dryer, they were extremely wrinkled. The threads were everywhere. So I don't recommend the pants. Okay, and then I also got this little red bodysuit. I love wearing those like underneath things or with like baggy pants or sweatpants. And then I got this really cool belt. And the reason I just fell in love with this, one, you know, I love studs anyway. And two, I love the color of it, that nude color. And I thought, how good would this look belted over a blazer, like a gray blazer or a red blazer or a white blazer? Oh, and I, there's no blazers in all of this shopping. So I got this and I'm, it's 100% leather. And I got the 85, which is my typical size because I can always poke one more hole to wear it around my waist with a dress or I can wear it with jeans, or I can put it over a blazer. So I got that, and then I grabbed this little belt that's one of those gold and leather tie belts because I thought, you know, there might be a cool dress or something too. Okay, so here I am the next morning sitting. We had a Starbucks in the hotel. So what I like to do per usual is go, I would get ready first and go sit in the lobby and people watch. I love it. I love to watch the older couples having so much fun together. I love looking at the outfits and getting ideas. I love just everything about it. So then they came down. We went to the other side of Universal that day and it was a little cooler. Okay. First day was hot, sunny. Second day was the hottest and sunniest. That's when we went to Volcano Bay. And then third day, it was cloudy and a little bit cooler, but it was still fine. And okay, so here's what I ate at the park on the second day. We got hot dogs from a hot dog stand. We got one of those giant turkey legs. We got all the different tacos from the taco stand. So it was like that asado, asada beef, chicken and pork and they would not let me get just i just wanted them to hold the chips and the tortillas charge me the same just put all the meat in a bowl but that was you know i understand they have to keep it like it is so i just ate the inside of the tacos and we all shared and then i ate one of the hot dogs hot dog it wasn't that great but and you can see john had a beer <laughs> Okay, um, Men in Black. Oh, we just loved all of it. Then we went to, yeah, that last um, Harry Potter where we got to see the um, dragon breathing out the fire. So John and I just sat there while they went in that. And then we that's when we rode the train over to the other part. And then we were just... We knew it was our last day because our flight was leaving mega mega early and we were pooped. So we went back to the hotel. I changed into my little rose dress from Revolve. I love that thing. You've got to get it. If you like it at all, get it because it's very comfortable and practical. And I wanted to put something on over it. So I threw on my blazer and I kept on my uh, time and true flip-flops and I just carried my same Gucci bag and we went back to the fancy mall. So this is one of the most exciting things that I want to share with you. It's in this bag. So we get there and I looked across the hall and there was Hermes. Now I do have an Hermes Birkin, but I had to buy it pre-owned because how am I ever going to establish a connection with a sales associate if I don't have an Hermes anywhere around me. And every time I have ever gone in an Hermes store, which has only been in Miami, and then I went three different, one, two, I think three different times in Dallas. And I'm talking, if you ever want to know how it feels to be invisible, walk in an Hermes store. Like I've never been so like defeated feeling like they will not even ask you how you're doing they will not 
um, look at you. And then finally, the last time I went in the Hermes store in Dallas, I said, is there any way to just like buy any of your bags? I had seen this when I went to on um, that speaking engagement with Zara and Captivate. One of the girls there had a, an Evelyn bag and it was so cute. It was lavender. And she said she bought it when she was on vacation at an Hermes store. So in my mind, I was thinking maybe I could buy one at an Hermes store. I don't know. I know a crazy thought. Huh? And so when I asked the girl in Dallas, I said, is there any way of me ever being able to buy like a, an Evelyn bag at one of the stores? I mean, I know I'm, you're never going to buy a Birkin or a Kelly because there's always a wait list. And she, she laughed and she said, no. And I said, okay, well, I knew a girl that just bought one. And she said, yeah, that was fun times or something, or that was a good time or something like that, like really blew me off. Like that was never going to happen. So I pretty much had given up and I've bought like the Oran sandals and the belt online. So I thought, I'm just going to walk in this store. I just love looking at nice things. I just love being there. I'm just going to walk in this store. So I walk in, I'm looking at the shoes and I do like my Oran sandals that I have. I have the plain black ones, but I'd love to try the pair with a little bit of heel. So I was thinking I might try on those sandals. And I look down and here I am in my time and trues, you know, and I go around the corner and every, all the sales associates are helping people like get bags or look at bags or do something. And, you know, I, I didn't expect anyone to acknowledge me. And so I'm looking around and I go up to this guy and I, I see the Evelyn bag in orange in the in a window. And I'd never, at the other store, there aren't even bags out. So I'm thinking, is it possible that they have bags here? And I said, do you guys have any like bags just to sell? He said, no, for display only. I said, okay. So I'm just walking around looking. I even like looking at what other people are getting. And there was a lady there and she looked at me and smiled and said, hello, could she help me? I couldn't believe it. I said, yes. I said, you're the first person that has ever spoke to me in an Hermes store. And she said, really, why? I said, I don't know. I said, I know that you probably don't have anything here to sell. I said, but how do I ever establish a relationship if you don't live near? I told her I lived in Wilmington, North Carolina. We don't, it's not a shopping town, it's a beach town. And she says, well, do you have a wish list? And I said, how am I supposed to start one? So I gave her my phone number and she could see that I had purchased those few things online. So I guess that might've given me a little bit of um, credibility. And she said, well, would you like to try on the Evelyn? I said, yes, I've been wanting to get one of those. So she let me try on the orange Evelyn bag. I had to put on white gloves to try it on. I went over and looked at the mirror and I thought, oh my gosh, orange isn't my favorite color, but I love this bag. I mean, it just fit so nicely. It hung so kind of like the Gucci, just hung really nice. And so, yeah, I told her, yes, I love that. If there was any way I could be put on the wait list. So she asked me what would be on my wish list. And I was like, I mean, I choked. And I, I was so nervous and kind of taken off guard that anyone had paid attention to me. I forgot to even tell her a Kelly bag. I said, well, a Birkin, I showed her mine so that she could see the color. And she said, so you like neutrals? I said, well, I kind of like, you know, I said, I don't think I want a purple one. I've got a purple Fendi, but I don't want a purple. I said, I, I, but I like blue. I like red. I like pink. I would like a black, you know, I said, I like the different sizes. So she put me down and she, I said, okay. And she says, well, hold on. She said, I see your style. Cause I had showed her some pictures of the bags and stuff. And she said, you might like these. And so we went over and looked at some Hermes sneakers and they didn't have my size. They only had a seven and a half and I really needed an eight or an eight and a half. And she says, well, we got a shipment in today. Do you like red? And I said, yeah, you guys, they actually let me purchase a bag. So I'm gonna open it with you here. My first Hermes bag purchase, legit. And I love it. I'm so excited about it. So here it is. I think it's called Vermilion. And I'm taking it that, okay, here it is. Beautiful, soft, like the perfect size for your phone. My two little wallets. And oh my gosh, I'm so unfamiliar with everything. I don't even know how to undo this. Oh gosh, I don't want to mess it up. But you will see me wearing it. Love it. 
gosh, with all black or with all cream or gray, like I'm thinking of all, you know, I love red, red bags anyway. I do love my little Mew Mew red bag. I've used that right much and Southern and I just love it. So I'm pretty excited about this. I got up to the front. I tried on a couple of more pairs of shoes and everything and come to find out, I asked her, did they even have like a red bracelet or anything? And she gave my name to the lady standing next to her that was a sales associate. The whole time, the lady that was helping me was the manager. Doesn't that say something? So the manager is the only person that ever took the time to acknowledge me or sell me anything. And she even made me a little thing of perfume samples and her favorite. And um, here's my receipt and everything. Yeah, with her, with the client advisor, and I guess the, yeah, supervisor what is I guess what she was and so yesterday I called there and told her you know thank you and everything and that I did want to put the Kelly on my wish list now if any of these come in and I want to buy one I have to fly there to get it you can't it's kind of like the Chanel flap you can't just have them ship it to you so I don't foresee ever buying enough that they would ever you know offer me anything but it was just the point because I don't know if you understand it was just the point it was the first time I had ever I don't know you know I just didn't think I'd ever be able to buy anything there because no one would ever even speak to me so I did that and I was just stoked everything in there oh I still want one of these I'll put the picture up here I still want one of those bracelets and you'll notice I think I've told you this before a lot of times I may be buying something that is so yesterday. Like you'll see me get a bag that was popular five years ago. Well, maybe five years ago, I didn't feel comfortable spending the money. And I will, if I want something, I will say to myself, I'll wait until I can get it. I don't put anything on credit cards, even though I have a friend that said I was crazy not to put everything on a credit card and then just pay it off to get the points. But I just love knowing I don't owe anything. And so I wait until I can afford something or until I can have an experience and like buy it in person or something and get to see it and then I'll do it. Um, okay, then I went to Prada, back to Prada, and I, my sales associate, his name was Brian. He wasn't there this night, but Lisa was there, and she remembered me from the other night, and I saw this that night, but I was trying to rush because I... What I usually do is we split up. Brooke goes to Abercrombie, Lulu's, Aloe, not Lulu, Lululemon, uh, Lush. That's where she does her damage. And then the boys, they usually go to the Apple store, to the GameStop, to the bookstores, all of that stuff, ice cream. And then when they're ready to go, they will text me and come to where I am and we'll go. I don't make them, you know, you know what I mean. And um, so that night when I was at Prada, I wanted to look at their bucket bags. I mean, not bucket bags, bucket hats. But I didn't want to make them wait. So I went back and I got a Prada bucket hat. You know, you would think that I would get black because that's what's going to match everything. But black is hot at the pool and when you're out. And then white, I didn't want to get it, you know, makeup and stuff gets on it. So I really loved the denim. And you can wear the Prada in the front, or I think I kind of like it on the side. Yeah, right here. But I love a good bucket hat at the pool because I can put my hair up in it. And I love a bucket hat with a dress and sandals, like flat sandals, a flowy white dress and your bucket hat, I think is so awesome. So <laughs> there it is. I love it. And you know, I'm all about the whole denim craze and I got I told you I've got a big head I didn't know I had a big head until I started buying hats but I do I have a big head so I got the large and I have you know I need room for my hair to be tucked up in it and so then I had a little bit more time and I thought I am going to walk over and try on that Louis Vuitton backpack 
and I went in there, all intentions, I'm buying that backpack. I love that it had the black straps. I thought that's going to be perfect when we go because, you know, we're already trying to plan our next trip now. And I thought it would be good, you know, just all this stuff. So I go in there and the lady offers to help me or whatever. As soon as I walk in and I said, yeah, I want to get the Palm Springs mini backpack. And so this guy comes over. He's young, tall, handsome, debonair. And he comes over and says, um, where are you from? And I said, Wilmington, North Carolina. He said, I knew it. And he just starts talking to me, talking to me. And he says, um, I said, well, I said, maybe I'll look at the mini Alma bag. I said, I heard that Alma bags are making a comeback. And he said, they never went anywhere. Been around since something, something said some date. And so I try on the Palm Springs backpack. In the meantime, he says, I know what bag you're going to want. I've seen it. it's my favorite bag. We just got it and you're going to love it. And I looked at the lady. I said, I don't want to spend a lot of money. I said, I don't want, I'm thinking, I'm not, I'm not in here to buy a $5,000 bag. I wanted something practical. I already had my kind of my mind set on that. And she said, it's not. And I said, okay. So he comes back with this bag and I can't remember the name. Maybe it'll say it in here. And I put it on crossbody. Loved it. It just, it lit up. So I ended up getting it. It is the new little, oh, I can't remember. But of course, I will link it down below. But what I love about it is all the gold. That's what looked best compared to just no gold on the Palm Springs. And I love the way it looks like luggage. It looks like the cool Louis Vuitton luggage. And then it has this strap that goes crossbody, and then it has a small strap that's like that. And that's what I like. I like to have the option of a crossbody, and then I like to have the option of a handheld to kind of get it up and out of the car and everything. So loving this, look at the detail. Love it. And that, my friends, was my last purchase. No blazers. No belts. Yeah, except for at Zara. And so we knew that our flight was leaving at 6.30 Friday morning. And we couldn't, it was just the way it was with that airline to get that straight flight. One hour, you just had to come back on that day. Matter of fact, it was the same people on the plane coming back. And so we, John had signed us up for the shuttle but we had learned our lesson with the shuttle so we arranged for an uber to be there at four o'clock will just stayed up all night knocked on the door at three brooke got up it wasn't the nightmare i thought it was going to be we packed the night before and we were off and the uber was down there waiting i just had the best experiences with ubers and everything and we got to in both airports we had a little bit of extra stuff to do because Brooke had lost her license and had a temporary, so she had to go through extra. We had to bring her birth certificate, a bill, this, that, the other thing, and they had to really, really go through her stuff. But we um, got there. We had McDonald's that morning. I had two Egg McMuffins, and then we got home, and we got home about 8.30 in the morning. So I've already got everything unpacked, washed, dried, bolted, and put up. <laughs> so it was such a success. We loved it. We had a good time. Will got a lot of, you know, Brooke got a lot of clothes. She is not interested. If you're wondering, does she ever want a Gucci bag or something? She's not interested. I, I think it's just a sign of the times. She likes stuff, you know, clothes and stuff. And Will just got a new phone. And I don't want you to think that they're not getting things too, but I, I know you don't want to sit here and listen to what everyone else got. I think we're into fashion and things like that. So thank you guys so much for being with me and listening to my stories. Uh, what did I wear on the ride home? Did I even take a picture? I wore, I know what I wore. I wore my Walmart sweatpants. You guys, those no boundary sweatpants are so nice. They're so soft. I gave them to my mom after I showed you, and she loved them so much, I ordered them again. So I have the cream-colored ones and the black ones. I wore those, my Gucci sneakers, um, a tank top, and my black jacket again. Hardly, I didn't wear any eye makeup, and, you know, it was early when we left. 
and that is it. And then when we got home, I had a most delicious steak for dinner. It was so good to get home. And I will say, normally when I go somewhere on my own, um, and by the way, I could have gone to the mall on my own. I could have taken an Uber, but they wanted to go. It's not like I made them go. And um, normally I'm really, really, really ready to come home. But I noticed when I was with them, I wanted it just to last longer. I was really having a good time. So next time we're going to do more. There's a new one, a new part of Universal that they're starting. So we're definitely going back and we're going to do a longer time next time. So, okay, my outfit of the day is just the Walmart free assembly pants. They go with the suit. And then this is a shirt from a collection that one of my friends that I've met here. Actually, I met her through Marnie, Mrs. Gold Girl. Her name's Nashville Tash, and she has a collection at Walmart. So I bought the whole collection. A lot of it, is it isn't quite my style, but I wanted to support a friend, and I wanted to show you guys because we, us here, that's why we get along, because we all appreciate each other's style. So I'm going to be showing you those pieces, but this is one of the shirts. I got it in black and white, and I love the sleeves. See how they're just kind of, um, they're so pleated that it makes them a little bit prissy looking, and I just like it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. If you made it to this point, hallelujah, bless you, love you, <laughs> and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.